totally just make it up as you go. That's the beauty of a no recipe recipe. All right, so should we talk about minestrone? Yeah. Do you say minestrone or do you say minestrone? <laughs> Can we really address up, that for a second? It's really up to you. This recipe is up to you, so is the way you pronounce the word. Apparently both ways are kind of incorrect. <laughs> so we have celery and carrots here. You can use just onions, just carrots. Honestly, it's really whatever you have on hand. We're just cutting all the vegetables into a rough chop. It's not an exact science. We just want everything to be vaguely the same size so it all cooks together in the pot. It's rustic. Definitely rustic. <laughs> and then our rule of thumb for vegetables is, you know, pile as many aromatics into the pot as you can. And then per batch of soup, choose a starchy vegetable. We're doing potato because it gets along really well with everything else. And because you probably have it. We're gonna saute these until they are translucent. And I'm just gonna give the garlic a rough chop. And we just use three garlic cloves, but you could use more. Add these once those vegetables are soft. Make sure that you're seasoning as you go. It's really important, especially in a not recipe kind of dish that you just season and taste as you go. So for the beans, we're adding chickpeas and cannellini beans. I think you want to stay around like a one-to-one -one vegetables to beans. So right there we have a couple of cans and it'll sort of match the quantity that we already have in our pot. You could also use red beans, lima beans. It's really any combination that you have or use your favorite. So we're just using crushed tomatoes. And we're doing vegetable broth, but you could also do chicken stock and simmer it for about 20 to 30 minutes. You want all the vegetables to be tender and a little bit of the stock to have reduced, but not a ton because you're still going to be cooking pasta in there. I'm impatient, so I'm going to crank it. I'm also impatient, so that's why we're great <laughs> cooks together. <laughs> and you can just use any kind of short pasta. Our rule of thumb is about a handful of pasta per person. It usually takes around seven or eight minutes. Um, if you realize that you don't really have quite enough liquid, it's looking a little dry, feel free to add a bit more. I'm going to add a splash just because the pasta grows quite a bit. I'm just going to let it cook. Yeah, just adjust as you go. It's almost soup time. <laughs> So we like to stir, you know, whatever greens we have in our crisper drawer, to be quite honest with you. This is some spinach. Just stir it in until... Really until just it's right before you serve, right? Wilty. Yeah, right before you serve so that it doesn't discolor anything. Can I do the honors? Yeah, just like make it rain cheese. I feel like I'm in an Italian restaurant right now. Fresh a pepper. <laughs> 